if I could dress up as any Doctor Who character at the festival, I think I'd go as Doctor Who. Or if I was to dress up as a monster or some other thing, I think I would like to be a Zal from the Demons. But I'd have to work out a bit. I'd have to go out to the gym a bit more for that. So I think I'd be a good companion. Doctor! Doctor, what's happening? I could do that. Doctor, it's over here. I could do all that. The Davros, it could be, I'd like to be Davros. Doctor. I could say doctor and all kinds of stuff. Doctor. Compassion is wrong. That could be Davros. I'd like that. I like Mark's monsters. I can't talk about those. I've liked uh, uh, all the monsters we've had this season, but I particularly liked uh, the, the ghosts in Under the Lake, also because I got to play one, which is unusual. The Doctor doesn't usually get to play a monster, but in that occasion I got to play a ghost, so that was fun. <laughs> Favourite bit of costume this year is my velvet burgundy coat, because I've been anxious to get the Doctor into velvet for a very long time. And everybody says, oh, that's like, you, you know, John Pertwee. And it is a little bit like John Pertwee, but people forget that uh, Paul McGann also had a velvet coat. And Tom Baker spent quite a long time in a velvet coat also. So I think it's quite traditional for Doctor Who to end up in velvet. It was touch and go about crushed velvet. I'm not sure. Maybe season 10 might be crushed velvet. I don't know.